so I'm back with another Paranormal Stories vlog. Um, I've got kind of two stories I want to talk about today. Um, one is kind of from my childhood and another is um, a couple of stories surrounding um, a hairdressers that kind of me and my mum go to. Um, first of all, before I get into that, I wanted to show you a couple of things really quick. Um, yesterday I went to um, a town called Rye, um, which is in Kent. It's kind of on the way to Hastings, um, and it's kind of a well-known town for its antique shops and like kind of little old styly shops and kind of cafes and that kind of thing. So um, next time we go, I'm planning to do like a little walk around video, um, just because there's some really interesting stuff and there's this one particular shop um, it's just crammed full of everything imaginable there was even uh, one particular item there that I really liked the look of uh, <laughs> strangely enough it was um, a prosthetic leg from like way back when and it even came included with like a sock and a shoe it was like 46 pounds and for some reason I thought it was really cool I kind of really wanted to buy it but um Anyway, um, next time I go, I'll ask if I can, you know, just quickly film about and stuff, see if I'm allowed to do that. So, um, in that one particular shop, I got a few items I wanted to show you really quick. Um, the first I've actually managed to make into a necklace. So this is um, carved ox bone. And there, it's like three monkeys. Um like representing see no evil, speak no evil and hear no evil. I just really like this piece, I was kind of carrying it around the shop for ages, kind of like debating whether or not to get it. It was only like £4 something, but I'd never seen anything like it before and um, I, I just really liked it. Um, so yeah, I picked that up. Um, I picked up two other little things as well. Oh, hang on. So these, hopefully you can see properly, they're like um, two little um, carved stone gorillas. I was carrying these around for ages as well because I really like them. I kept coming back and finding them. I just thought they were really cute. So these were like um, two pounds something each, I think. And I couldn't just buy one of them. <laughs> I like them as a kind of a couple. I think this one's really cute though because it's got like these kind of big strange kind of blue eyes that kind of wonky I just thought they were really sweet together so I picked these up for some reason the camera's gone dark they gave us better um so yeah I just picked these up and I've uh, been putting them out on display in the room and I'm glad I turned this one into a necklace so I can wear it around um so yeah, there's um, a few interesting antique shops that I really like to go to there. So fingers crossed, next time I go, they'll let me kind of make a few little films so I can upload and just show you all the, all the stuff they have. Okay, so next one to my little paranormal stories. Um, I kind of had a bit of a, a weird dream last night that kind of reminded me of this. I can't remember the dream exactly, but I woke up and... Um, I was reminded of this story and um, I checked in my um, notebook to see if it was written in there and it is. Um, so this, it's not exactly a paranormal story, it's just a scary story from when I was small. Um, so um, when I was little, obviously, um, my mum had this doll and she still has it now but it's all wrapped up um, kind of in the wardrobe to keep it away from dust and protect it and everything so it was like um I reckon now it would be like knee height on me she was quite a tall doll but when I was really small it kind of was like waist height kind of like life-size small child doll um she has a name I can't remember it might be something beginning with A or something no I don't know I don't know anyway um so yeah she's kind of a tall doll um 
I haven't seen her in a while, but I remember her because I was so scared of this doll. But um, she has really short, curly brown hair and like a yellow dress. I think her name was like Daphne or something. I don't know. And she has like white slip on like plastic shoes. She's like a plastic doll and her eyes like, you know, when you like lay her down, her eyes would shut. And um, this doll was from when my mum was really young and she loves it, she still has it now. Um, but when I was little, um, she kept it in my room. And I think I told her once or twice that I was a bit freaked out by the doll. Um, but you know, I, I didn't ask her to move it or anything. I think she may have offered, but I said no. I think because in my head, I didn't want to annoy the doll. It sounds really weird, but I was so scared of this doll. Um, I used to have nightmares that she would like turn to look at me in the night because where she was, like, I had my single bed and at the foot of the bed, kind of sideways, there was like um, a shelving unit. And she used to sit right at the top, kind of closest to me, like sideways on. So when I was sleeping, I always, I was always scared to look up at her because I could always see in my head like she'd be sideways and like slowly turn to look at me. That was just one of my like ultimate fears, I guess. And I was always scared that she'd like I'd see a blink or turn her head or move or something and I would always have dreams about like finding her in different places or maybe seeing uh, like a change of position or her head would move or her she'd blink um and I used to have this one dream that really used to scare me this sounds terrible but um I always used to dream I was standing at the bottom of the stairs so in my parents house you come through the front door and there's a staircase right in front of you and then at the top of the stairs to the left was my old room so I dream I was standing at the bottom of the stairs looking up into the darkness and then the doll would like creep and like crawl around the corner so she'd like peep down the stairs at me like around the banisters and I'd be like frozen to the spot and I wouldn't be able to like shout or run or anything and then she'd like exorcist style like creep down the stairs really slowly and I mean, I had a, a few dolls growing up, but I wasn't a huge fan. I was like stuffed animals more. I had tons of them. So I wasn't scared of dolls, but this one doll really, really bothered me. And I don't know why. I have no idea why. Like, I never had an experience with her. I never saw her move or I never found her in a different position or anything like that. And you know my mum loved her and she still does but um, you know she's all you know wrapped up and out of the way now um but I don't know why she like lived in my room I think <laughs> my mum just wanted to keep her safe and I didn't want to annoy her so I wouldn't like badmouth her out loud or ask her to be moved because I thought maybe she'd come like find me in the night and like you know develop a hatred for me or something and come get me so she wasn't particularly creepy looking or anything. I just, I did not like her. And I, I'm going to have to ask her name because I cannot remember. But she was the creepiest thing ever to me. For some reason. I don't know why. Um, maybe I'll look for her and film her. And you can tell me if she's creepy or not. She was like the one and only doll I hated. And also um, my cousins, uh, when they were really small, they used to come over quite a lot to stay. Um, so, you know, more times than not, they'd stay in my room, like on the floor. Um, and, you know, they always used to kind of crawl ahead and ask if there was any dolls out or if that one particular doll could be put away because they hated her too. And... 
I don't know. I just think young children just hated her in general. And I don't know. They were quite vocal about not liking her. Like my mum knew, oh, you know, they come in, put, them, put her away, make sure there's no other... There wasn't any other dolls around though. It was just her. So, and I was like, well, good. She's been put away. <laughs> like, hopefully she won't be angry at me because um, I'm not the one that requested it. Um, but I swear I thought she was going to come get me in my sleep. I don't know what I thought she would do to me. Just try and, I don't know, take my soul or, <laughs> I don't know, try to possess me or something. I don't know. Um, very vivid imagination when I was small. Um, still now, but just scary all around. Doll. <laughs> Okay, I'll move on from that. Maybe I'll try and get a photo of her or something, put it on my Instagram, or maybe film myself with her. I should do a film of myself with her and see how I react to seeing her again, because I haven't seen her in years, because she's, you know, been put away safely. I even have a terrible feeling she's in the, in the garage. Oh, God. <laughs> that scares me now, because I think she is going to get angry, because she's been left in the garage. Anyway, so I'm probably still scared of her now. Okay, so <laughs> this next uh, bunch of stories is um, it's kind of inspired by um, Graveyard Girl. I watch loads of Graveyard Girl um, videos. I'm a huge fan. Um, I like watching all her like old paranormal stuff and all her new stuff as well. Um, I was watching a, um, a load of her old paranormal videos this morning um so this actually reminded me to go through my notebook and find these stories because um she did one particular one it's called um three ghost stories i heard at the spa um and it's a kind of an old video of hers um but it's like stories at like a beauty salon that she went to so i have some ghost stories or um that i heard like um in a hairdresser's and there was one, you know, I, I kind of have a bit of a paranormal story of my own while I was there. And also I kind of witnessed someone else um, having one at the, at the time. Um, I'm not going to give out the name or the location, just out of respect. Um, uh, I'm, I'm, not, I'm not sure if they kind of tell anyone or if you just ask or if they're actually having any paranormal experiences nowadays because this was a little while back so um the first thing sorry I'm just looking in my notebook um yes yeah, so um where it is it's in a city I really don't want to give out the location just purely out of respect for the business so um yes it's in um a city that's kind of notoriously a bit haunted but you can kind of say that about any large town or city or something like that so um it's particularly the downstairs area that they have um because upstairs is like you know the hairdressing section and then downstairs they have like a toilet and then like um like beauty therapy rooms like you know, I've been down there for like a pedicure and a manicure and they do like massage and waxing and stuff down there. Um, so it was mainly downstairs that they were having all the trouble and they were kind of, not blaming it, but they were kind of saying it was um, a small girl who was kind of maybe haunting the place. Um, because the first thing that happened... Um, Years back, they used to have um, coloured pictures going down the stairs and they would have it in the order of the rainbow. So, you know, starting at red, blah, 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 going down. And so, you know, like the, um, the senior hairdressers, like the owner, and then there's like a manager... And they were the ones kind of experiencing the most because they'd be there kind of locking up and opening in the mornings. So what would happen quite a bit was they'd lock up in the night. No one can get in. There's no entrance to the downstairs area. Um, 
so you know they'd lock up the you know the front of the the shop and everything and then they'd be the same people to open up in the morning and all the coloured pictures going down the stairs would be rearranged so they wouldn't be in like the order of the rainbow anymore they'd just be completely all swapped around and they'd be really confused because no one could get in or out there's only like a couple of those people that have the keys and stuff so they started you know feeling maybe different energies and stuff maybe thinking this is really weird what's going on um, another thing that happened that they told me which is kind of crazy actually they had um, they had some flowers downstairs like before they kind of did it all up and stuff and they had like a big vase with um, sorry my hair's a mess um, yeah so they had um, a big vase with like these um, big sunflowers in it and so the vase was kind of like half filled with water with some big sunflowers so the night they put them out um, they put them downstairs and like on the tables and like next to some chairs or whatever and um, went upstairs locked up same thing come back again in the morning everything was okay until they went downstairs and the vase was completely empty of water and dry and the flowers like the sunflowers were arranged in like a fan shape on the floor like in the middle of the room on the floor no water anywhere <laughs> The vase was completely dry, there was no spilt water or anything, and they were really confused. And I don't think they had, like, CCTV at the time or anything, they might do now. But they were really weirded out by that, because they were, like, the last people out, first ones in, in the morning. So they could not explain that at all. Um, and also... Okay, so, uh, me personally, I have been in the downstairs area, kind of, for, because you kind of go downstairs, it's kind of old, right? So you're going to go downstairs, and then on your left, up like a tiny little corridor, there's like the toilet, and they have like the coffee machine and stuff, just by the stairs. And then, so when you come downstairs, you go straight through to a room, and then... The like last half of the room is sectioned off into like two smaller rooms for like they're the beauty rooms right and they have curtains and then the larger section of the room they have like a little manicure table and then just a couple of seats like a little mini waiting area and then just like a big cabinet full of nail varnish and stuff so i've been down there before when i was a bit younger um and my mum went down for a, a treatment, maybe a massage or something. So even though she was like, you know, a few metres away from me. And I was sitting in the larger section of the room by myself. It's so deadly quiet down there. There's no windows or anything like that. And like even though someone were like two people were like literally behind a curtain a couple of meters away i just felt i don't know i just felt like i'd been left in a really kind of scary big kind of building or something all by myself you know that kind of feeling where you think oh my god like a complete sense of being alone and spooked out i just got that feeling like completely, even though I could like hear people meters away, I just felt awful. It's just like really kind of not so much oppressive, but just you know, just like something's not right. I just, just something felt a bit off for me. That's all. So they got some reports from people saying that they would hear. Um, children downstairs uh, maybe running around or laughing you know just kind of you know not out of the corner of your eye but kind of in the back of your mind you know hearing kids and stuff and um, you know they were getting reports from people and um, 
also from kids themselves did not like going downstairs apparently I was told if kids had to go downstairs and wait for their parents or whatever to have a treatment they did not like it at all not didn't like being kind of left on their own just felt really unsafe and just kind of got all emotional and everything so um I was there a little while ago um I've never experienced anything like that I've never heard kids or anything normally I'm more susceptible to kind of like hearing things rather than seeing anything happening um so yeah I was there a little while ago um probably a few years actually and I was upstairs um I think I was again with my mum probably getting our hair done or something and you know it was pretty quiet there wasn't anyone downstairs there wasn't anyone getting treatments because um the girl that does beauty treatments was like on reception so this uh, woman got up from her chair she went downstairs um just to use the toilet and she she came back up um a few minutes later and was like is there kids, are there kids downstairs? Like, I heard some kids running around. And, um, you know, the girls who work there were like, uh-oh. <laughs> and they were like, no, there's no, there's no kids here. You know, it's just us. No one's downstairs. And she was really confused. She was like, I was in the toilet. Just, the toilet's really small. It's just like two cubicles in a tiny room. Um... She said, you know, I was in the toilet and I could hear kids running around downstairs, like, um, even past the toilet door and mainly in the kind of, um, beauty treatment room. And she said, you know, it sounded like there was two of them, um, they sounded like they were kind of giggling, just messing about and running around. And we were all like, nope, <laughs> no one's downstairs now. No one's come up or down, like, you're the only person that went down there. And she was really creeped out. <laughs> she was like, oh my god. And then that's when, you know, all the girls started telling stories, you know, where the, the kids don't like it down there. And I don't know. They don't know the history. I think last time I heard they were kind of looking into it. Um, but, um, oh, also, I uh, just remember just now... Um, the owner, um, who always, like, does my hair and stuff, and she's, like, kind of, um, she knows, like, me and my mum, she always, like, talks to us and stuff when we go in, um, she said that one of, one of the girls, or maybe a customer, I'm not too sure, I can't really remember, um, saw a child, I think it was a small boy, um, outside the shop because it's in like a row of shops so when you come out of the hairdressers just to your left is like I don't know it used to be a number of different places I think it might be a beauty place but it has like a big kind of um, stone doorstep she said that um, someone came out and looked around and saw like a small boy on the doorstep which was really weird so apparently they think something terrible might have happened to some kids kind of on the lower ground or something I'm not too sure they're, they're, they're not sure but they were kind of saying maybe we should get like a psychic in or something um, so yeah yeah that's that's it I just thought I'd um, share that with you um, so hopefully I'll be able to do um, a walk around in a couple of antique shops this month if I go back. Um, hopefully they'll let me. Um, and yeah, I've got more paranormal stories coming up. Um, I've got a whole list of them. I'm kind of working through. I just see the time now. I've been talking for like 25 minutes already. Hopefully I haven't been <laughs> rambling. Hopefully I've managed to kind of cram in a few stories. Um, in this video so thank you so much for watching um, I'm going to link my Instagram and my Twitter down below in case you want to have a look and also subscribe if you like um, I'll be sharing more paranormal stories um, of my own and maybe other people's or you know just researching spooky stories and telling them and um, whatever I find interesting so yes 
thank you so much again for watching and I'll be back soon for more stories. Bye!